You found a cool font online and you want to use it for your own project. Well, now what? In today's video, I will walk you through the steps to install fonts onto your computer. Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. If we're just meeting, I'm Katie and this is Katie Failinger DIY. It's a channel dedicated to helping you make your home your happiest place. And we do that through DIY ideas, techniques, and tutorials like you'll see in this video. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. Okay, today I'm going to break down the process of how to get a new font into your computer. And make sure you stay tuned till the end because I'll share a very important footnote that you'll want to pay attention to. Also, I'm going to show you this process on a Mac just because that's the machine I use but if you are a PC user, don't worry. I actually have the directions how to do this on both a Mac and a PC in printable format, and you can grab that down in the description. The process is similar, but it's worth checking out just because it is a different system. So click the link below if you wanna download that. But for now, onto the directions. Okay, the first obvious step is to download your font. You can get thousands of fonts for free from a bunch of different sites like Google Fonts, FontSpace, Font Squirrel, and a bunch of others. But today I'm going to show you an example of this process using a font from defont.com. Now I'm not affiliated with Defont, this isn't a sponsored video, but I actually really like this website for free fonts. And let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a video covering some of the best resources for free fonts because there are a lot of them. So I found this font called Aqualine 2 on defont.com. It's a really cool sort of colonial script. So with each font, you'll see some details about who designed it, how many downloads it has, etc. But the most important detail is here on the right side of the screen where you can see it says the font is 100% free. Perfect. So I'm just going to click download and it'll produce a zip file with the font name at the bottom of my window. All you have to do next is click on the zip file and it'll unzip the file in my downloads folder. And with that, it shows me a preview of the font. Super simple. But just because we downloaded it doesn't mean this baby is installed. The next step is the critical one. So we're back in our downloads folder. My new Aqualine 2 font is unzipped and I'm just going to double click on it, which will open this new window. At the bottom right, you'll see the button to install the font. Just click that and yet another window opens up. Now this window shows me all of the fonts I've downloaded on this machine. So you can see my Aqualine font download was successful and you might recognize a few of the other fonts in this list from recent videos of mine like Blackberry Jam and some others. Safe to say I'm quickly becoming a font junkie, but with that step, we now officially have the font installed at this point. So it should work within any program that you have on your computer and in which you normally use different fonts. So in Word, in Google Docs, in Keynote, in Adobe Photoshop and Silhouette Studio. But I wanna test this just so you can see that it's actually worked on my machine. And it's also important that you close and reopen any programs in which you're gonna use this font Font. It just gives the software a chance to reset and process the information that you just installed. Okay, I'm going to open up just a blank pages document. So I'll just type in some text and over on the right, open up the drop down menu. And there it is, Aqualine 2. I'll make the size a little bit bigger here and it definitely looks like everything downloaded as it should. And just to be safe, I'll also type out all the letters of the alphabet to make sure. Let's do one more test. I'm going to make sure the font transferred to Cricut Design Space as well. So I'm gonna launch the program, select a new text box, type in a little bit of text, go up to the font selection menu at the top and type in the first few letters of Aqualine. And there it is. So it looks like there are some spacing issues with this font initially, but that is always something that I can adjust within Design Space. Cool, so it worked. Now here's that important footnote that I mentioned at the beginning. When you select fonts to download off the web, make sure you check the licensing info. A lot of fonts do come free, but with stipulations, like they're free only for personal use, or it's the demo version of that font and you're only going to get certain characters, or they're 100% free, like the example I showed you in this video. Regardless, make sure you know the limits with any font that you grab, just so that you're not setting yourself up for problems later, just depending on how you plan to use it. And there should be some sort of a link or a directory to show you that licensing information on any website that you download from. So pretty simple. And just a reminder, whether you're installing fonts 
fonts in Windows or on a Mac, I've put together a printable cheat sheet of instructions how to do this on both systems. And that way, even if you're a Mac user, you don't have to watch this video all over again. The link to grab that is down in the description. Meanwhile, do me a favor if you liked this video, hit that like button, share this with your fellow creator friends, and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. You can also ring the bell to get notified when new videos go up, but I do post something new every Thursday. And I'd like to personally invite you to join the nearly 1,000 other people that are already a part of my creator community, where you'll get more DIY content exclusive to that group. And if you're interested in signing up for that, there's a link down in the description. Also hit me up on social media in between videos if you've got any kind of questions related to anything that I cover in my videos. I'm on all the platforms, they're all listed below so you can click through to see those pages. Guys, thanks for watching, keep creating your happy place, and I'll see you next Thursday. Do you hear that? Do we have a fly swatter? It's gonna buzz around through this entire recording. I hear you. Gosh, it's hot in here. All right, dedicated to helping me, helping me, you, me, you, me, you, me. Come here, you stinker. Keynote. Ah! Over on the right. Ugh. And three. There he is again. But, yeah. And subscribe, so you always subscribe. Hey, subscribe. Like button. I'll be here all night. So click link the click.